everyone! Today, I'm painting on my shoes! I have never painted on shoes before, so I'm really excited to see how this is gonna go. But, uh, I cleaned the shoes because I have used them before, so I wanted to deep clean them before painting them and before putting them on my desk. But that's kind of nasty. These are the type of shoes that I will be painting. They have a little bit of a platform and those yellow spots weren't there before I cleaned them. So, but it happened. It's fine. But I will be painting Spongebob on my shoes. Ooh. But yeah, I am really excited to see what's gonna happen. I will be using my acrylic paint today because I won't be wearing them, so I am not worried about the paint chipping or cracking or falling off. If you're gonna wear your shoes after you paint them, make sure that you actually get paint made for that. But since these are gonna be for display, I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna slap some acrylic paint on there and call it. That's, that's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna have fun with it. But uh, I don't really have any expectations. I am just gonna do my best and see what happens. I think we should just get on into it. Let's do that. about my experience with painting shoes. It was a roller coaster. I would highly recommend not using acrylic. It was a mess. Uh, it was difficult. Uh, my shoes like just soaked all the paint and I will show a clip in the end like a close-up and you can just see that you know there are spots where the paint just got soaked so much in that it's not really visible in a way um, and I did go over with I think two or three coats so get paints that are made for the type of material that you're painting on just a tape just just a little tip you know um, and uh, the tape was very difficult to cut as you saw I don't know why but my scissors, I need new scissors. They are just very bad. Um, and it, they stuck to the tape, but the tape didn't stick very well to the shoes, actually. I cut out a clip of me trying to put the tape back on in a spot because it was kind of falling off, but um, get better tape, get better paint. Uh, <laughs> and um, I, I only filmed me painting the backgrounds on one of the shoes because they're identical on both of them so I didn't feel like it would be necessary to film both of them. The video would get too long and boring so I only put one in. I did put you know both characters in video of course and um, I was planning on like painting them on one shoe together but there just wasn't enough space which kind of sucked but <clears throat> sorry 
I ate chips a while, like, before recording this, so I have a little chip stuck in my throat, but I was planning on doing that, but it didn't end up working, and I did really want to do plankton on the bottom of the shoe, but it's they're dirty, even though I cleaned them, I can't get it off, and you don't see it when they're just standing, you know, I won't be wearing them as I said, but you know, you don't see it, so I didn't really feel like using time doing that. Um, it could have been fun though. And I filmed me lining Spongebob with a black liner, just as I use for my papers too. Um, and I didn't film me doing that with Patrick because I did end up going over with a thicker liner on both of them. For some reason I didn't film that, I don't know why, but I didn't. Uh, so you will see that at the end and um, yeah. It's, it, it was an experience, definitely. It was so much fun and it's almost my birthday. So I am like hoping to get some paints that are made for shoes and for fabric so I can do a better job another, another time. Cause I do have a denim jacket that I really want to paint on, but I don't want to paint on it until I have the correct paint because that I actually want to wear. This was just some shoes that I don't really use. So I wanted to get a video out of it and just have some fun. And it was a lot of fun. It really was. Um, it was easy to paint on them, except for the flap that goes like on top of your foot to on the right side. It was a little difficult because the flaps where like the lace, the shoelaces kind of overlapped. So it, it was a little hard to get in the crevices, but it was fine, no big deal. But I do think it would have turned out a lot better if I had actually used a type of paint that would be suitable for fabric. Um, but I enjoyed this so much. It was so much fun. I highly recommend do it. If you have some shoes that you don't use or have shoes that you do use, but you want to spice them up, do it. It's so much fun. Um, and uh, I, it's it was fun and I can't wait to start painting on my denim jacket when I get some paint that I can use for that because I'm not gonna do that with acrylic. I know that that's not gonna be good. Um, and I did like when you touch the shoes, you can definitely feel like if you bend them a little bit, it's gonna crack. So I am not putting them on because I don't want to ruin what I spent like two hours doing. So you're not getting a shot with me wearing them. <sighs> but I am kind of wanting to make a thumbnail wearing them, but I'm not going to because I'm afraid I'm going to ruin them. So <laughs> yeah, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below what you think. And have you tried this before or do you want to try it? or? Are you not interested in this at all? <laughs> but um, I will see you next time. Bye!